Hey folks, Nathan here from the Star Wars Timeline Gold, Star Wars Beyond the Films, and the Star Wars Gaming Podcast Cloud City Casino at StarWarsReport.com. Bring you a quick look here at the last of the Opposition Cycle Force Packs for Star Wars The Card Game, the LCG, or Living Card Game, from Fantasy Flight Games. This is Technological Terror, and these are objective sets, as we find on the little card on the back, 256 to 260, if you can believe we've already gotten that far in numbered objective sets here. We have, of course, a rule supplement, pretty much the same as all the other ones in Oppositions. Again, the special features of Oppositions that it has introduced are Affiliation Fate cards, which are in this pack, and Keyword Influence, which is not, unless I've missed something in my skimming things over. Again, we have five objective sets, as is often the case. We have ourselves duplicates of each, none are limited to one objective, or one per objective deck. We don't have anything for Rebel Alliance here, and there are no neutral light or dark side ones. They're all faction affiliated. So here we go. For the Jedi, we have Running the Canyon. Luke's T-16 Skyhopper, then a generic T-16 Skyhopper, Memories of Home, Bullseye, as in Womp Rats, and Target of Opportunity. Then my favorite named objective in the entire game, Tiny Robotic Sociopath. So true. It's Chopper. Which sure sounds like he's saying WTF every time. So we have Chopper, Captured Courier Droid, Electroshock Prod, Makeshift Repairs, and then Improvised Tactics. Then we jump to the dark side. For the Sith, the Emperor's Shadow. That was Smugglers and Spies, by the way. We have the Emperor's Shadow, the Emperor's Shuttle, Shuttle Pilot, the Emperor's Favor, Sensor Array, and Well-Equipped. Then for the Imperial Navy, we have Technological Terror, which has resources and is elite. Death Star, which is crazy powerful if you can get it out there. 12 resources to get it out there, but basically... Based on the Death Star dial, for every number on the Death Star dial, say it's two, you get one unit and one blast combat icon, which is crazy. Then we have Fleet Navigator, Death Star Engineer, another Death Star Engineer, and Control Room. So if you're thinking it's going to be difficult to get it out there, you do have a lot of resource building in that objective set. It's basically what this force pack is based around. Then we have for Scum and Villainy, Heart of Cold, not gold, cold, IG-88C, remember in Legends there were four IG-88s, that's one of them, the third. FEX Model Combat Droid, Ugnaught, Tricks and Nonsense, and another Tricks and Nonsense. Again, these are our affiliation fate cards for this pack. So a nice pack here, reminds me a lot of the old Decipher CCG in terms of there's a Death Star, let's break it out, and it's going to be super powerful, but it's going to take a while to be able to pull it off, etc., etc. Just a little more straightforward than the CCG had it for the Death Star. But that should wrap us up for the opposition cycle.